Hello, dear students. I hope you're all doing well and keeping fine. In this video, we will do the continuation of the chapter energy. As we have discussed in the previous video about the gravitational potential energy, we will learn a little bit more about it. As we have known that the gravitational potential energy is the energy stored by an object due to its height in the gravitational field, which means that it is the energy possessed by a body due to its position with respect to the ground. Let us look at one example. Consider an object placed on the ground. You do work on it to place it on the tabletop. The work done in taking the object to a height against the gravitational pull of the earth is stored in it in the form of gravitational potential energy. Now let us look at the expression for gravitational potential energy. It can be expressed as potential energy is equal to m into g into h which is equal to mgh where m is the mass of the body, g is known as the acceleration due to gravity and it has value equal to 9.8 meter per second square and h is the height from the level of the ground. Next is energy transformation. Conservation of energy. According to the law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor destroyed but changes from one form to another, which means that the total energy of the system cannot be created nor it can be destroyed but it can only change from one form to another form what is energy transformation and conversion the process in which the energy changes from one form to another is known as energy transformation and conversion in this chapter, we have discussed the two types of mechanical energy. They are kinetic energy and potential energy. You have to remember that the kinetic energy can be converted or it can be changed to any other form of energy like light energy, sound energy, electrical energy, and so on. Whereas the potential energy can be converted only to kinetic energy. Let us look at some examples of energy transformation. The first example is in an automobile. In an automobile, the chemical energy of fuel gets converted to heat energy. This heat energy in turn moves the piston and gets converted to mechanical energy. The movement of piston causes the vehicle to move, hence converting the mechanical energy to kinetic energy. The second example is in a power plant. A power plant is also referred to as a power generator. Let us look how the energy transformation or conversion takes place in a power plant. In a power plant, the chemical energy of fuels like coal is converted into heat energy. This heat is used up to boil water. The steam moves the shaft of a turbine and heat energy is transformed into mechanical energy. Finally, the turbine with the help of a generator produces electrical energy. The next example is a stretched bow. We have already discussed in the examples of potential energy that a stretched bow possesses an energy known as elastic potential energy. Let us look how the energy changes takes place in a stretched bow. When we stretch a bow, it acquires elastic potential energy. When the string of the bow is released, its potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. Due to this kinetic energy, the arrow gets to a far off distance. The next example of energy conversion is the motion of a simple pendulum. Before we look into the energy conversion taking place in a simple pendulum, 
Let us first understand what is a simple pendulum. A simple pendulum has a small but a heavy mass known as a bob. The bob is tied to a thread whose other end is tied to a rigid support. When the pendulum is not moving, it is termed as being at rest or its position is known as mean position. When the bob is displaced a little bit on either side, say, if you look in the figure, say at point A or B, the position is known as extreme positions. Now we will see how the energy conversion takes place in the motion of a simple pendulum. When the bob is displaced a little bit on one side, say A, and released, the bob is set into oscillations or it is set to to and fro motion. The oscillation keeps on continuing. As the oscillation takes place, there is a continuous change of energy. When the bob is at point A, the bob possesses maximum potential energy and zero kinetic energy. Now, as the bob starts moving from point A to point M, the, kin the potential energy changes to kinetic energy. Now, when the bob is at point M, it has maximum kinetic energy and zero potential energy because the whole of the potential energy is now converted to kinetic energy. When the bob moves from point M to point B, the kinetic energy starts changing to potential energy. At point B, it has maximum potential energy and zero kinetic energy. As the bob moves from point B to point M, again the potential energy changes to kinetic energy. At point M, the bob possesses maximum kinetic energy and zero potential energy. As the bob keeps on oscillating, there is a continuous change in its energy. At any in-between points, say at any point between A and M or B and M, the bob possesses both kinetic energy and potential energy. However, at any instant, the total mechanical energy that is, the sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy remains conserved. Another example is roller coaster. The example of roller coaster is similar to that of a motion in a simple pendulum. Now, if you look at the figure, at the top of the coaster at point A, the car possesses maximum potential energy and zero kinetic energy. When the car moves from point A to point C, the potential energy changes to kinetic energy. At point C, the roller coaster car possesses maximum kinetic energy and zero potential energy because the potential energy that was in the car when it was at a point A now changes to kinetic energy as it reached point C. At any in-between points, say at point B, the car possesses both potential energy and kinetic energy. During the entire path, the mechanical energy that is the sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy remains conserved or remains the same. However, some loss of energy is witnessed due to friction. Next example is a freely falling body. Let us look how the energy changes takes place in a freely falling body. Let us suppose that a stone is dropped from the roof of a house, say point X. When the stone is at point X, the stone possesses maximum potential energy and zero kinetic energy. As the stone starts falling down, the potential energy changes to kinetic energy. Now, when the stone reach at point Z, that is just before touching the ground, it has maximum kinetic energy and zero potential energy. 
that means the potential energy that was at point x as it starts falling down it changes to kinetic energy and when it reach at point z that is just before touching the ground the whole of the potential energy now changes to kinetic energy hence it has maximum kinetic energy whereas the potential energy now is equal to zero at any in between points say at point y it has both potential energy and kinetic energy likewise at any point between x and z the stone possesses both potential energy and kinetic energy however at any instant the total mechanical energy that is the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy remains conserved or remains constant other examples in loudspeaker in loudspeaker the electrical energy gets converted into sound energy in a microphone the sound energy gets converted to electrical energy and in a solar cell light energy gets converted to electrical energy likewise there are more examples given in your book you can refer to it and learn them next is power power of a body is defined as the amount of work done by a body in unit time it can also be defined as the rate of doing work by a body so power can be expressed as equal to work done divided by time taken which is p equal to w by t as energy and work are equivalent we can also define power in terms of energy supplied in terms of energy supplied power is defined as the energy supplied in unit time so power can be expressed as power equal to energy supplied by time taken which implies that p equal to e by t unit of power the si unit of power is what it is denoted as capital letter W. 1 watt equal to 1 joule by 1 second, which implies that 1 watt equal to 1 joule per second. So power of a body or a machine is said to be 1 watt if it is capable of doing 1 joule of work in 1 second. Another unit of power is horsepower. It is the practical unit of power used to denote the power of machines and engines. One horsepower is equal to 746 watt. Factors affecting the power of a source. There are two factors which affect the power of a source. Number one, the amount of work done by a source. And number two, the time taken by a source to complete the work. Note, if a machine does the given work in lesser time and a faster rate, it is said to be spending more power. What is power rating? The power rating gives the indication of the rate at which an appliance can do work as compared to others. Next, we will see the differences between work and power. Work and power. In work, number one, Work is said to be done by a body when it displaces a body in its own direction. And power of a body is defined as the amount of work done by a body in unit time. Number two, work done is not dependent on time, which means that the work done does not depend on time. Whereas power is dependent on time. Number three, the SI unit of work is joule. And the SI unit of power is what? Differences between energy and power. Energy. Energy is defined as the capacity to do work. And power is defined as the amount of work done by a body in unit time. Number two. Energy is spent is not dependent on time. Which means that energy spent does not depend on time. Whereas power depends on time number three 
the SI unit of energy is Joule and the SI unit of power is Watt. Number four, energy can be converted from one form to another. As we have seen in energy transformation and conversion, we have learned that energy can be converted from one form to another form, whereas power cannot be converted from one form to another. Number five, energy can be stored, whereas power cannot be stored. This is all for this video. Thank you, stay blessed, and stay safe.